Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome back to episode 9, season 3 of my New Zealand Warriors career burn. Now, I need to really get that intro down pack. I need to remember to say season 3 so it doesn't confuse people. Uh, but this episode is going to be at number 1, as you can tell by the, the link of the video. And if you're sort of wondering beforehand, going, hmm, I wonder what this video is going to be like. Um, is it going to be a buy round or whatever? Just check by the, the length of the video. If it's, you know, past the 8 minute sort of mark, 7, 8 minute mark, uh, it's going to be 2 games in it. If it's just the four to five minute one, just the one game with a buy probably, or you know, even no games. I don't really know. Uh, but this first game, I'm going to take on Newcastle, then we're going to be taking on Raiders. So uh, a few danger games. Uh, obviously, Newcastle and Raiders, we both lost to in win one, take one. Um, so yeah, I'll sort of, definitely after this game, um, sort of like the Bulldogs one, I found it a little bit difficult at times in this game. Uh, and also, I should mention, like, up until this point, had not really been challenged too much. Now, although I have talked about the Bulldogs being a tough side uh, to break down, whatever, we did break them down in the end and flog them. So, um, you know, in the end, still haven't been challenged. I think it was 13 on that game. Uh, Josh Hoffman just stepped around, and it's something that I haven't done for a long time, is use the steps. I always use the, you know, just try and charge over the players. Uh, and I remember back when I used to play as the Bulldogs with Ben Barber, like, stepping was the main thing I did, and it worked so effectively, and I just went out of it. I suppose with the, the difficulties, um, you know, it changes everything. But we can throw an intercept there. Ika Hiufo, he's just going to race away, and it's... Uh, rubbing salt in the wound, I suppose, the fact that he came from us. But, uh, yeah, he never got a go with us, really. Uh, but he's going to go and score, so it's going to become a 6 all here, you would think. They're going to kick their goal here. I'm not even sure who it is kicking... We'll see in a second. It's uh, Will Smith. Will Smith, who's currently at the Panthers. And yes, he did originally start at the, uh, at the night. So um, it's not like a weird signing or anything. But you saw there before half time. there was a few big hits that we went for. And uh, that's something that I've definitely been enjoying uh, in this series. Going back and uh, playing with the Warriors. Some big hits there. But Manu Vadova, he's going to score an absolute worldie there. Uh, just a lot of offloads there. Double, like two kicks in the set. So... Good stuff there. I mean, it might not have looked the best, but yeah, I, I, just, I was really happy when I scored that try. I was uh, really buzzing over that one. And we kicked the conversion too, which is, you know, extra for us. The fact that, uh, you know, the wind was there. And for a, a section that, in that, I uh, didn't think we were going to get it. We nearly blow our lead just there. I think it was Jesse Bromwich who ended up on the end of that. But thankfully, Manu Vatavai came across there. But they're just going to run a bit of a set move here. And they're actually going to score. Now, when it first happened, I was like, oh, he didn't get the ball down, did he? But no, he did. Uh, he just slammed the ball down. But I thought I'd just clear that up for anybody who was uh, just wondering. Now, Will Smith doing a slot. Another one over. And it's 12. 12 all. It's, it's you know, game on. Now, that try, that was well-deserved, that try for Knight. Um, You know, there, was, there wasn't really anything dodgy about it. Although, like, that was just a bad play for us to get the ball there. But that set play they did, that was really, really nice. And nothing I could do. Uh, Josh Hoffman um, had a nice little run there. And Sean Johnson had a chance to steal the game here uh, right on full time. Uh, didn't quite have the legs. Or maybe had the legs, but, you know, didn't have the accuracy. So, uh, that's a bit of a problem. Josh Hoffman, he's going to come up with a big play here. The first time we're going to touch the ball here. A little step to nobody, but he's going to break through of tackle here. You can see we've got a great fuel position. Our defense really muscled up, and Josh Hoffman came up with a big play there. Now, Piro breaks off one tackle, just going to draw and pass, and Elijah Taylor's going to score. And that is game over. And the golden point, obviously, first try scorer, your first point scorer, really. Uh, you know, there's the winner. Elijah Taylor wins it. No need for the goal kick. And as you can see, we're all celebrating. I'm disappointed, whoever that is, for the night. I don't even know who it was. But 16-12 is how it ends. And uh, here's all the other results. And I just got to say, I was so happy with that. Uh, it was very, very unnerving uh, in that game. The first real sign of uh, shakiness or anything in us. The fact that we couldn't hold a lead. Uh, which is, you know, unsettling. Just to the fact that I've got to go the whole season. And, you know, Knights aren't the best side by any means. That's so the fact we had a little bit of trouble with them. Uh, sort of a little bit worried about, but in this, at the same time, you know, we're still undefeated, like, 15 rounds in, so, uh, you know, we've nearly defeated everybody once, so, uh, can't go into the games fearing a defeat, uh, the Canberra Raiders, if anybody, uh, are going to be the team that possibly beats us, which is a little bit weird, but as you can see here, we started off in the right, you know, right sort of a mind frame, two huge hits, although only seconds later, they're going to make a bit of a break here with Sean Fenton, not really known for line breaks, but he did. Thankfully, we went for a legs tackle, which worked out this time. Uh, now, Dane Nielsen got to break off one tackle, gets it to Kevin Locke, who was tackled, I think, by Terry Campisi, possibly. Uh, but that's not where the play is going to end. So, Hoffman takes to the line, breaks off one tackle, gets it to Rapiro, who also does the same, gets it to Henry, gets an offload to Elijah Taylor, he's going to take the tackle. The last offload probably wasn't needed, but, 
you know, which, which went for it. And Dane Nielsen and Josh Hoffman linking up brilliantly, in particular uh, Hoffman. Now, Jack Croker there makes a really, really, really good tackle just then. Uh, so many times it went straight through there. It's actually a little bit funny that it was Jack Croker out of all the players in the whole league to pick off that tackle, considering in real life he's not the best defender. But Josh Hoffman going to get under this. Can't really get to it properly, but uh, thankfully it didn't come off him, and it came off the camera player. And we're going to end up scoring a try here through Elijah Taylor. Well, at least that's what it appears like anyway. He's going to check for offside first. Now, is there a hit on offside? There is someone in the, within the 10, but he travels back here. And this is off the Camperettis player. Let's take a look at the put down, and what a put down that was. Very spectacular. And that's uh, one of the good things that they got right in this game. Uh, some of those those put down sort of stuff. Although it doesn't happen too often, but when it does happen, it's pretty spectacular. Um, although the animation is not as you know fluid as what uh, you would like, but you got to remember this was made in 2012, uh, Xbox 360, but you know a small a small company, so that sort of stuff I can definitely respect being in the game. That's awesome stuff. Another line break there for us, and you know we we're pretty switch on in this game apart from this moment here. Sean Johnson went for the field goal about 36 minutes in, and it, you know we just took it right up to the line and then took a shot. So uh, shit play on my behalf, but. As you can see there, we're just really dominant possession-wise, you know, everything. Now, we have the wind sort of not behind us, but it was in a perfect spot for us to so take a kick there. My preferred left-to-right sort of kick, and we end up with a 40-20 here. And we're going to pass it to Kevin Locke, who did the kick there, and it's going to run straight through there, just burn them. Too much pace, too much acceleration, really. And, uh, yeah, that just the hesitation in the Camberators defense just really backfired on them. And, uh, you know, when you've got a player like Kevin Locke, you've got to make him pay when you do that sort of stuff. Um... So 12 nil it is after Sean Johnson kicking his second goal and 100% record so far. I don't know how many I've missed in the total of Rugby League Live 2, but it's not many. Now Bill Turbo up the right wing here, just exploiting it, just exploiting the wings really. Uh, probably their weakest point, uh, I'd have to say, like Pelo and that sort of stuff, who actually makes a break himself over Vatavai. Doesn't miss too many tackles uh, or too many, um, you know, he just doesn't miss too many tackles, Vatavai. Uh, but that was one occasion. Although we are going to throw a huge intercept there. I didn't catch who it was. He caught it. Jones, by the looks of things. I don't know who that is. But uh, what I don't know what exactly happened there. But most likely was that either I wanted to throw a, you know, a cut-up pass. And it just didn't it didn't register any of the inside plays or whatever. And just went right up to end there. Or what I'd say was probably what happened is I went for the pass to playmaker. Or, um, or probably the the dummy, which is more likely, uh, the dummy, which is, you know, you have to hold in both the pass buttons at one time, and it just threw the pass instead of doing the dummy, uh, although in the end, didn't really matter, a 12-6 victory, will definitely take that, Sean Johnson made the match, you could argue if it was Kevin Locke or someone, but yeah, Sean Johnson was the one who ended up getting, uh, getting that accolade or whatever, and as you can see here, two more wins to our name, 14 from 14, uh, with two buyers, 32 points out on top uh, by ourselves. Uh, but that's where the video is going to end. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Hopefully you can leave a like. 20 is what we're aiming for. I think that's achievable. Um, also, if you want to subscribe to my channel, also very much appreciated. Uh, if you want to follow me on, on Twitter, uh, you can uh, follow me at MrLuke on YT. And uh, like my Facebook page in the description below if you prefer to use Facebook. And uh, yeah, just make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.